Hey guys, Stell back here, bringing you a first look uh, review of the new Dead Space game that came out on Tuesday. I got this game a little while ago, uh, yesterday it came out, but I just haven't been able to play it until now. I, I was going to do like a live um, cast, you know, for, of this game as I was going through it. I was having issues with my program, uh, Total, uh, was it Total Video Extreme, I don't know, whatever the hell it is. And then also too, uh, in the beginning of the game, you don't get... There isn't a whole lot of shooting, but got to this point, and I figured this would give you some good shoot for you guys. Anyway, let's get to this game. This game is a fabulous game. Um, if you enjoyed the first game as much as I did, you will really enjoy it immensely. This game, there's a lot of similarities the way a game is run and looks and feels uh, as of from the first one. Case in point, the biggest thing is the fact that it looks like a movie. They made the game in such a way that it more feels like you're interacting with a movie than you're actually in a game. Uh, there is no like mana screens or health bars. I mean, there is the health bar there, but it's integrated into the gameplay and into the the, the experience. Um, also, too, with videos or with um, uh, menus and, and options and things, it's all built into the gameplay. So it looks like he is looking at it. Videos that pop up from time to time, or audio that is heard, the, the way they they structured it made it seem it's all part of of of, of this the show that we are interacting in. Um, also, too, they've uh, done um, added into besides the look at look at the game um, and the feel of the game, they've added into a multiplayer um, kind of a thing. I don't know if you remember Aliens versus Predator kind of a thing. You can. You have a match, you play as the humans once, and then you'll turn around and play as the, the bad guys or the, the aliens for one round. And that's the, that's the a match. And there's different versions of matches. There's TDM, there's capture the flag kind of a thing, and that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. I am planning on actually uploading a bunch of those videos. Not to my site. I'm going to be putting it up on the Button Masher site so that... Um, they can get some love, and I think I'll be the only director of that group that is actually doing uh, uh, Dead Space. So that will be pretty cool, um, being a part of that. And it's kind of a neat concept. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a really a, 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 a together type, um, working together as a team type thing. Um, so it's pretty cool. Let's get into also two uh, different things that you'll see that's new in this game. If you remember from the review that I did a while ago, the different monsters that showed up. Well, they're they're here. The the baby monsters. I, I haven't seen them yet in this game, but I know they're coming. Um, also, too, you you can see that uh, he is wearing the old uh, Dead Space engineering suit. And I just recently bought this. this. Is the first suit that you start out with uh, that you can buy, uh, and then you upgrade to that. Upgrade from that. And if you remember in the first game, when he would upgrade his suit, it only would look a little bit different. Now, when you upgrade, you're getting whole new suits, so that's kind of cool. Um, the concept of this is obviously still the same with the whole marker thing, if you remember that. I don't want to divulge too much into what's going on. And also, too, there always seems to be somebody helping you um, along the way, like it was in the first game. So that's pretty cool, how they integrated the same kind of concept, but made it entirely new games. As you saw there, there was a new monster there and a new way to take it down, and that was pretty neat. Also, too, there are different uh, things to do with the suit, too. Uh, if you remember in the gravity scenes, you'd have to jump from one place to another. And now, in the suits that you get, you are also unlocked uh, um, with that the, the, the controls to navigate in space. They have little thrusters and jet packs on your suit. Um, so that's kind of cool. Also, too, if you, if you buy the game now, um, you get... A couple of different upgrades. You get some sort of online pass, and I'm assuming that means it lets you play online. Also, too, you're able to get the rivet gun, which is a, um, a, a, an, a, a I guess a, a special weapon that you get for new guys that buy the game right away. So um, that's kind of cool. I haven't really played with that weapon yet, but a lot of the same old favorites. This is the plasma cutter, kind of a neat way how he how he got that weapon. So check that out. Check this thing out too. This is a new way they're doing the map system. If you remember before in the first game, you'd have to select, you know, bring up the menu and bring up your map menu. Now it's built more into the game where it's some sort of uh, sensor that you click on and it'll show on the floor as you're walking. And not only that, let's say you want to find where the objective is. Well, that's a blue line and you follow the blue line that's in the game. I'll, I'll say you want to find a save point. Well, you, you click over to the save point and drop down the marker so then it will then look 
show you the save point. And that's in green. Also with the shop, also with the bench to upgrade your weapon. So that's kind of cool how they integrated that and made it a little bit different. Here is the other store that I've gotten to. Over there is the bench, and you'll see me upgrade it and just kind of navigate the bench a little bit. So that's kind of a cool thing. There's, Like I said, there's a whole new storyline, but all based around the same game uh, from the first one. Um, he, and it looks like Isaac plays a real integral part in the story and how things are. So that's kind of cool. Here I'm, I'm, I'm upgrading my rig here because I feel that's the most important thing to upgrade. So we might as well upgrade that first before I upgrade anything else. All right, guys, that's about it. I know this is a quick little video, like I said, of having issues with my program. Uh, and I want to make sure I made this short and, and be able to keep it. Put your likes down uh, if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you so desire. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.